Welcome to the last section of this uh, using file using computers and file management module. We are going to look at creating a document or opening a document, two ways of opening documents. And then we are going to create something and we are going to save it and as it go again, we are going to print it. So first of all, we have to find a program to do to open. Now, I'm going to open Microsoft Word, Microsoft Word 2013. That's the one I have here. There are two ways I can do that. One is to go to Microsoft Word and shortcut. You see that that little arrow there that tells you that is a shortcut. Now I can quickly uh, double click on that shortcut. I'm using my left button on my mouse. Double click on that. And I open Microsoft Word. So Microsoft Word is opened. Okay, that's one way of doing it. The other way of doing it, the longer way of doing it, is to go up here and look into the programs, all programs, and I look for Microsoft Microsoft Office 2013. That's the the, 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 that's the folder where these programs are. Then I go to Microsoft Word, which is somewhere at the bottom, right at the bottom there, and just click on it. So that's a long way of opening. That's why people create shortcuts. So I can do that. And now again, I'm in Microsoft Word. So that's two ways of opening a document, uh, opening a program. So now, once I'm in the program, I'm going to do something here very interesting. Um, I'm going to type in a equal sign, and I'm going to type in a rent. Uh, it's not working. No. I'm going to type in equal sign, and I'm going to type in rent, R A N D, and I'm going to open it, and I'm just going to put in two there, and again close it and hit enter. Now that, what I have told the computer to do is to create two paragraphs, text paragraph for me. So, and it has done that. Now that's my program. Now the computer has actually given this program a name. It says document 19. Now document 19 is not a very good name. Why? Well, in about two or three months, I'll forget what document 19 was all about. But if I give it a beautiful name that tells me exactly what is in that uh, uh, document before I even open it, then that is much helpful than document 13. So how do I save this document? Well, there are two ways to save it. One is to click on the save button and the computer will bring up the save uh, uh, process, or you go to file, and then once you are in file, you can tell your computer, I want to save, okay? So if I click on save, the computer will then come up here and say, where, where do you want to save? There are a lot of places I can save, but in this case, I'm going to save it on my computer. Right, now, I rem remember that we created our, our folder, our folder on the desktop. So I want to save it on the desktop in our folder. So how do I do that? Well, I come up here, I click to the desktop, and then the desktop will give me all the folders that are there. So I'm going to all the, all the spaces that are there, I'm going to look for that particular folder, which uh, actually, which is the one I'm looking for, where is it? Okay, so it's a folder, it's here called Unum stuff. So I open that folder, I click on it and open that folder. And then I can give a name to my program. See there, it says, what do, how what do you want to call your document? I'm going to call it my first document, my first document at Unum. Okay, so now if I say my first document at UNAM, now my first document, oh sorry, my first document, document, my first document at UNAM. 
So I will not forget that. that. That name is actually more meaningful to me because it always reminds me. It's the first document I wrote when I came to you now. It will never change. So it's actually a beautiful name. All right. Now, the other thing, what do I want to save this document as? Microsoft Word? Or do I want to save it as something else? What if I want to save it as a PDF? What if I want to, there are a lot of items that you can use, there's ways of saving documents. PDF is what quite important, you must know how to use that, but Microsoft document, or Word uh, document is also there. And if you are using old uh, Word, you can actually save it in 97, 2000 version. So I can actually save it in many different ways, but in this case, I'm just going to save it as a Word document. So once I have written everything, I'm going to save it in there. And remember, I'm on the desktop and I'm in UNAM stuff, so I'm going to save it there. Okay, so now can you see now when you come up here that the name is no more nine, uh, document 19, but it's now called first document at UNAM. A beautiful name that we just gave our document. Now, the other item that you find here is uh, save as. Now, remember, when we saved, we just clicked on save, but we didn't click on save as. Now, if you want to get, if you click on save again, the computer will automatically save whatever document. For example, if I go here to that document, sorry, if I go to our document here, how do I get the back? So, if I go to document and change it, Peter Hangula, change it, Peter Hangula, so I changed that document, I added this item. If I click on save, the computer will just save that new document with Peter Hangula and forget, threw away the first one that didn't have Peter Hangula. However, if I want to save that, this document, Peter Hangula, with Peter Hangula, and still keep the old one without Peter Hangula, then I can come up here to save as. I click on save this. Now, can you see that I'm now given an option to change that document? So I'm going to go to staff here and I'm going to say, okay, I'm now going to call that document two. So if I save it now, it will be saved in our mode in our folder. And it will be there will be two documents, one with Peter Angola and the other one without. So if you go up here, you can see if you go to our uh, our, our folder, you can now see that there are two documents with similar name but not similar contents. Okay, similar name, they are not the same. This has a two, that one doesn't. So there are two different files there. And remember, when you are having a file, you can't have a file or two files with the same name. Computer will not accept that. So they have to have, I mean, I'm using this, and I just added that to, that to changed this for this file name to this. So they have two different file names. All right, so I'm going to open one. So I'm opening one. Now, I'm now here. So what I want to do with this document, what, what, what I want to do with, 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 with this document is actually to print it. So if I'm going to print it, I have to come up here to this, file here okay that's actually the place where I'm the printing if you come up to file here and it is slow into uh something is actually not working okay so and I'm, 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 I'm trying to see if this thing is going to open and actually something was funny somewhere um, and it's not mis it's to us misbehaving. Okay, let's, let's go through this. All right, so if I want to print this, what I will do is I will click on uh, file on the application software there and there it says print. So we've learned how to save, now we are going to print. So I click on print Hopefully it will come up here showing me, oh, but while you are here, look at that information that you have here. Who created this document? When was it created? Whatever, how many paragraphs are there? How many words are there? These are connecting to printer. 
Uh, now it doesn't leave me very much option, does it? So um, uh, we are now going to print. Um, I'm just waiting for this machine to bring up the printing uh, uh, system. There it is. Now, when you want to print, now this is how your document is going to look. First of all, how many copies do you want? I want one copy, or maybe well, uh, you can either you can either type in how many copy you want. So if I want five, I just type in five. If I want one, I just type in one. Or I can use these arrows to increase them. So to five or to four. And then if you have your own printer, a personal printer, you can actually tell your computer that I want you to connect to this personal printer. But if you are using a virtual printer like at UNAM, we have these virtual printers. So you put in the virtual printer. So once you put in the virtual printer, the computer will send your information there, and then you can go there and print them out. Now, how these are things that some some stuff will be able to, some printers will be able to do. Can you print on both sides of the page? Can you print only a selected stuff? Not all of it, you just want some parts to print. Um, print only print only the current page, right? Just this page, no, no other pages. So you can actually tell the computer to do a lot of information here. You can actually quite tell tell exactly what you want. So there are a lot of information here that you can tell your machine to do. Oh, the other thing, if you want to print only one or one and four and six page, one number one, number six, number seven, you can actually tell the computer you just put in one comma. Um, we put in a comma, and uh, uh, not two, um, uh, six, uh, comma, uh, 20. So you can actually only, you are telling the computer, I want you to print only those pages, page one, page six, and page 20. So that's what you want, right? So you can tell your computer. Now, now the other thing is how do you print? 